Hi, I'm Mike. And I'm Kelly. And we're engineers at the Bonneville Power Administration. Today we're going to show you how to build your own turbine. What's a turbine? A turbine is a wheel or a cylinder that has blades attached to it. The blades are pushed on by a force, which causes the wheel or the cylinder to turn. It's connected to a generator, which creates power. Oh. You know, we have a lot of turbines here in the Pacific Northwest that are powered by water. Yes, I believe that's called hydro power. Okay. We also have a lot of wind turbines on our system now. We should do a test to see how that works. That's a great idea. Okay, so you don't have to say wait or anything. Today we're going to show you a fun project. There. Okay. Today, we're going to do an experiment that you can do in your classroom with things that you find around the house. Here's what you'll need. Some masking tape, a large paper cup, a non-sharpened pencil, a pair of scissors, some large index cards, some washers and nuts for weight, and some string. So in your classroom, break up into groups of two or three people and figure out a design that will catch the most amount of wind. Shall we give it a shot? Yeah, let's build some. We're gonna see which design can lift the most number of washers. Yours looks like a rocket ship. Oh look, a pencil. Okay, Kelly, I think we've got a few uh, samples ready. Should we try them out? Let's try them out, here. Okay. Great. We have a small test set up here that has a motor acting as a generator hooked to a multimeter. If you don't have those things, we can show you a different design with a cardboard box in a few moments. Today, we're gonna to use a shop vac on the exhaust side to power our wind turbine. Let's see if the turbine works. Not so good. Maybe we'll try one of the other designs. How about you try? All right. We have just reset the display on the meter. Now I'm going to try out my design. Well, let's see what I got. 1.35. Looks like I need to go back to the drawing board. <laughs> Well, let's reset the meter and try another design. Wow. 3.44. This design is just kind of a quick thing I slapped together just for the purpose of this experiment. Kind of looks like fun. Here it goes. How'd you do this time, Kelly? 3.18, here it goes. This design isn't as good either, but that's okay. It's all about going back and confining your design. I like both of our second tries. They seem to have captured the most wind and spun the fastest. Okay, good job. Good job. Okay, Kelly, should we test some of them out? Well, you got four and I only made one. <laughs> it's a wheel. <laughs> Not so good, Kelly. <laughs> We use this kind of test setup today, but if you don't have access to this type of equipment, you can make your own out of a cardboard box and some tape. But instead of using a motor as a generator to create electricity, we can just try lifting a washer. So just like before, we're going to use the shop vac to power it. That's another way to find out how powerful your turbine is, adding more washers. That's one way you can keep score. Good job, Kelly, you did it. Thanks, I was able to successfully lift three little weights. You can make lots of designs like we did, or you can just pick one and stick with it. See what changes you can make to get your turbine to spin faster or to lift more weights. 
Keep tinkering with your design to make sure it works the best way possible. Testing and improving your design is all part of the engineering process. We enjoy being engineers because we love tinkering, problem solving, and keeping the power flowing in the Pacific Northwest. If you're interested in engineering, check out after-school activities such as the BPA Science Bowl, LEGO Robotics, or your school science fair. Hey, that was really fun, Mike. Thanks. Good job. No, you... How about that secret handshake? <laughs>